Hey guys, what's going on? I want to take a minute and share with you a story about the day that I quit ministry, the day I walked away. And it's a day that changed my life forever. Please let me paint the scene for you. I was practicing to lead worship one Thursday night for College Chapel, and I get a little excited sometimes. And so I lost myself in a moment of worship, and I brought that guitar down in a way that pinched my stomach between the guitar and my belt buckle. And you may ask yourself, well, he doesn't look like there's that much stomach to pinch. And right now, you're absolutely correct. But in that moment, I was struggling with a 21-year battle with obesity. And in fact, three years prior to that moment, I had lost 120 pounds. And that's what made this moment so frustrating, is I didn't have to deal with it, the fact that I gained this weight back, until I pulled my shirt up to look at the bruise that this guitar rocking caused, and I took it in. And then I started to do one of those Google Maps situations where you don't just see what you focused on, you see the whole landscape, and I saw a stomach that was now hanging over my belt. I saw a chest that was now just flubulent. And I got so frustrated that I put my guitar down and I quit ministry right there. I just, I, I cried out to God and I said, I, God, I don't know what it is that you need from me, but I know you don't need another hypocrite because I had two, two responsibilities. One, lead worship melodically. Two, be an example of how to responsibly live your life in a realm of secularism where, you know, it was a secular college and there were tons of options and I just had to be a pillar of strength and self-control. And that was the problem, is I wasn't. I couldn't in good conscience share with people the good news and the great options that they had in Jesus Christ when I couldn't trust myself at a buffet. So I quit ministry. I did whatever I could actually to not think twice about it. So I went over to the couch, turned on the TV, started playing PlayStation, put in a DVD, put on some iTunes, whatever I could to not think twice about what was going on. Because I knew if I thought twice about it, the truth of the situation would come back. And God just wouldn't let me run. God just continued to reach out to me. And it was, in fact, the story of Peter that changed this whole course of my history. Because the Peter story here is the one where he walks on water, which is pretty miraculous. I mean, if you think about it, he gets out of the boat, he's having an X game moment, and he's just the star of the situation. But as he starts to think about what's actually going on, he starts to sink and he starts to fall and the chaos of the world wraps him up and he starts to sink. But even, even in his greatest failure, he still had the wherewithal to reach out to Jesus Christ. And I was doing the exact opposite. And that is the exact moment in my life where my struggle was no longer about weight. It was about my heart. It was about what percentage of my life would I never fully give to Jesus Christ that I had promised? Five, 10, 15%? It didn't, it didn't matter because there was an incompleteness that I was unwilling to face until God sought me out and brought that story of Peter to the front of my mental process and wouldn't let me go. And I don't know where you guys are at, but I know that had I not taken that moment and evaluate the hard truth in my life, that the little 5% that maybe no one really knew but I knew, then I, I really don't know what my life would have been. But I can guarantee you it would not have been as fantastic as it is now. Since that moment, when I started taking my faith seriously and I gave God that 10% that I was withholding, well, the weight's come off. I've been free of my food addiction. And more importantly, I've had this stellar walk with Jesus Christ because I was willing to acknowledge that I just need to give him all of my heart. So I don't know where you guys are at with that, but I know if you're anything like me, there's a little piece of you that maybe you don't want to fully address that God is saying, please, if you give this part to me, your life will be amazing in ways you never thought they would. And so my challenge and my hope and my prayer for you is that you'll look into your heart and you'll see where God is calling you today. And I hope, I hope he keeps you and I hope you never stop seeking.